There are thousands of videos out there that claim that they can help you get more subscribers on YouTube, but every single one of these videos is lying to you because they're not telling you the number one thing that you actually need in order to get more views on YouTube, and that is that your content needs to be better than the other videos that it's showing up against, and the problem here is that we as humans think that everything that we create is the best, so you don't actually have somebody giving you feedback or something giving you feedback. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you four different ChatGPT prompts that you can use to predict how many views you're gonna get on YouTube and whether or not your content is actually better than your competition. And if you ignore these four prompts, it's going to be the reason that you fail to grow on YouTube right now. So the first thing that you can use ChatGPT for is to actually get them to analyze the thumbnails that you're creating. Now, ideally, what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to do this with your thumbnail that you're going to be using for a topic and then also the thumbnail that is going to be showing up number one. For example, I am gonna make a video about the YouTube algorithm. All I did here was took two different thumbnails and we're gonna see why this thumbnail actually ranks number one. So I took this thumbnail right here and I took this thumbnail. I came over to ChatGPT and again, you wanna do that with one of your thumbnails and then the thumbnail you're gonna be competing against. Then you wanna ask ChatGPT, I'm trying to create a video about the YouTube algorithm. The people interested in this wanna know how it works, how to use it to get more subscribers and more views, and I'm going to give you two different thumbnails. I want you to tell me which one of these is different. Now I know a bunch of you right now probably running to the comment section saying, Rob, can you please give us this prompt? But all you actually have to do to take a screenshot of this right here or just screenshot this thing and then come over to ChatGPT. You're going to provide it with the screenshot and you're going to say, put this right here. What does this say? Type it out for me. And this is a way that you actually get better at using ChatGPT by using ChatGPT to do simple tasks like this. And now it is literally going to transcribe this. You can copy and paste this and now you can use this for yourself. Back to this prompt though. So ChatGPT is gonna say, sure, I'm happy with that. I'm more than happy to do that. Please provide me with the thumbnail. So goes based off of this. The thumbnails you've shared gives you a brief analysis of each of them. And this says that thumbnail two might be more effective at getting clicks due to the emotional human appeal in it. And then it also says if the target audience is looking for immediate, emotionally engaging content, thumbnail two could be more effective. However, if the target seek informational and analytical content, thumbnail one may be preferable. And what you can do with this is you need to ask yourself which one of those things the target audience actually wants. But maybe, and more importantly, there might be two audiences that are searching for YouTube algorithm. So by simply doing something so drastic different, you might actually be able to hit a different audience than the other video was doing. And what we're seeing here is that the human element is actually helping this video rank higher. And it made this video do really well compared to their recent videos, as we can see by this outlier score right here. But that's not the only prompt you have to use because there are three more. And the last one I'm going to share with you is by far the most important. But first, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you want to go quicker on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok, I literally upload a video every single day about how to grow on these platforms. In addition to that, I just created a free YouTube growth course. You could get it the pinned comment below. It's going to share with you things like the best time to post on YouTube, the best hashtags used, and exactly how the algorithm works. Because if you want more views and more subscribers, you need to know how it works. Okay. Now the second prompt that we're going to use is going to turn ChatGPT into a YouTube script analyzer. So essentially what this is going to do is you are going to feed in this prompt right here, and it is going to analyze your competitor's script, and it is going to break down for you exactly what they've done in it. This is going to help you make a way better script. So what you need to do you need to come to one of these videos right here. We're going to scroll down here. You click in here, show transcript, and then you want to make sure that you click here. Get rid of these timestamps. We're then going to take this. You want to make sure that you start on the first thing. Go all the way down. Boom. Take this. We're going to type this into ChatGPT. Now, while ChatGPT is doing its thing here, I did want to show you. So if you wanted to do this with a short if we come to shorts, just click into some random shorts. So if you come under here and go to the description, you're not going to see what we just saw there. But what you can do is come up here where it says shorts, turn this into watch. Now this shows it in a different format. You can come down here, click more, and then get show transcript here. And again, it is going to show the transcript for you. But now let's see what ChatGPT actually did here. So this literally is breaking out the entire script. It shows us the hook. It shows us the stakes. It shows us the first topic. It shows us the second topic. 
the third topic, the fourth topic, the conclusion, adaptation instruction. So essentially what this does is shows us how to recreate this. And then, I don't know why it's popped up. And then what we can do is we can actually come in here and say, can you write a better hook? My ideal audience is struggling with the YouTube algorithm and they want to get more views and subscribers. They're tired of thinking that the algorithm hates them. Use all of your notes from this script to craft a great one to three sentence hook. And then what you could do is literally go through line by line with this. What you don't want to do is you don't want to just tell ChatGPT to make some random script. Because what's going to happen then, and I see a lot of people do this, if we just come over to ChatGPT and this is the lazy way to do it, you need to actually prompt ChatGPT to get it to give you the best stuff. A lazy person would do something like this. I want to make a YouTube video about the YouTube algorithm. Give me a script. And then it's going to give you this absolutely horrible script that looks like it's AI generated. But again, if you go through and do this, it actually does a good job at just writing out a text-based script because it realizes that this, what we gave it, was just a text-based script. So if we come over here, click refresh because it looks like this got jacked up. Creating a script, blah, 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 quite exciting. All right, I don't really care. So then it goes through and breaks out all this stuff like background music, cut in logo animation theme music. like we don't need any of this what we need is a better video than the video our competitor made and that is what we're going to be able to get if we come down here and do this video breakdown here with ChatGPT. and now for the next two prompts remember the last one is by far the most important but i think you're really going to love these next two okay so this next prompt that we have here is going to allow ChatGPT to give us really good ideas so basically, you just prompt it here. I'm going to provide you with a ton of different titles, blah, blah, blah. I'll leave this up here for a second so you can get a screenshot. And then come down here. Again, the same thing. You leave it for a second, get a screenshot. Now we come down here. So great, I'm going to help you analyze titles, blah, blah, blah. Please paste all this in. So now what you need to do, come over to YouTube. Come to one of your competitors. VidIQ is one of my competitors. We're going to click on this. I'm going to click on videos. We are then going to do one of these. Now remember, you can't, like, there is a, you know, maximum amount of stuff that you can give to ChatGPT. So we can't do their entire channel, but like the last five months, we should be fine. We're going to paste this in here. ChatGPT is going to do its thing. It's going to analyze. And essentially what it is going to do is it's going to tell us a bunch of different trends that were happening here. For example, is there a trend with the length of content? Is there a trend with the way that they're capitalizing some words? Is there a trend with different lengths that they have and a bunch of different things? For example, video length and view count relationship, blah, blah, blah. Videos range from this, they range from that. Gives you title structures, give you evergreen content, use of authority and credibility, trending specific features. And then what it's going to do is it's going to propose a bunch of different video topics that it thinks will do well. Now you don't want to just take these for granted and this is going to lead in to script number four. So what we want to do is get some of these. And by the way, you should do this for all of your competitors and then you'll have a list of like 40 different things. And do not just take this stuff for face value. For example, let's say this one right here. Why some channels explode, YouTube insider secrets. So we wanna take this, we wanna come and type this in here. And then what we wanna see is why it actually did this. So it's basing it off of this. So if we were to just take these two things right here, let's say uh, this, so I am making a video about how to get more subscribers on YouTube. Which one of these titles do you think my target audience would click? We're going to give it this, or then we're going to give it the title that was used here. Boom. And then we're going to ask it. 
So essentially what we're going to be able to do after doing this is we're going to be able to see a breakdown of which scenario would work and which one of these titles somebody would actually like. So it gives you strengths, audience appeal, gives you strengths, audience appeal, and then it gives you a recommendations based off of what the actual content is. So now obviously ChatGPT doesn't know what the actual content is. So now you might have to actually go through and provide it with more context with that. And then it will be able to give you a more concrete answer when it comes to which one of these titles is better. And since you're still watching, I know that you're serious about growing on YouTube and you probably want to get monetized on YouTube. And I personally want to help you. In fact, there are several different ways that we can work together so I can look at your channel and tell you everything you need to do differently to skyrocket your growth like this creator that I just helped gain over 3 million subscribers and this creator that I hope gain over a million subscribers. If you want to know how we can work together, watch this video right here because we can hop on a phone call, I can audit your channel, or one of my mentorship programs might be a perfect fit. I'll see you over there.